You know I had to get that in before I even start this video. This is Deluxe Day. What's up, y'all? I know it's been forever since I've done a YouTube video. If you guys remember, I used to do them way back in 2008, and I stopped and came back and did a whole bunch. Had a lot of subscribers at one time. Those dwindled down because I really wasn't doing videos. So, you know... I just got the urge to really get up and do this again. I I want this to be like a thing where I'm doing it more constantly. And I now that I have time to do it, I think it's really great that I'll be able to, to really talk about stuff and really say what's on my mind. So I'm kind of starting this out how I started my original videos that I started back in 2008, where there was no big like theme song, no high tech, no nothing. It's just me talking into a camera. And if things expand from there, they expand from there. But I kind of just wanted to get back on here and just spit some stuff out a lot's been going on in my life you guys you know i worked in retail i worked in and uh i was a substitute teacher i was doing a lot of different things but now i have my the job of my dreams actually and i'm actually getting to fly i'm getting to be a flight attendant um something that i've been pursuing for quite a quite a while um i went into a little a period where i was doing some acting and different things that's not on the back burner but it's something that i really want to get um everything together as far as finances and different things like that so I can pursue fully what I want to do but right now as I'm waiting I would love to be doing something that I enjoy doing and I can just delve into so I'm really enjoying being a flight attendant it's one of the best uh careers like that I could ever have dreamed of so it's really really a blessing so I'm enjoying that but I really wanted to get back on here because y'all there is so much going on in our world I know there's stuff uh serious issues that are going on but I'd like to to talk about the the serious issues and the issues that that surround what I love which is entertainment um the entertainment industry it gives me uh a, just like a, a feeling of no other so I like to tackle stuff like that so I'm going to get a little bit into that today because I post so many things on Facebook, post so many things on Instagram, but I really never, you can only type so much. Sometimes you just got to talk it out, you know, and that's what I just want to do today is just talk out what's up here in my head right now. So let's start this thing out at the very beginning of the week. We had, I'm scrolling through my thing and I'm like, oh, okay, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And all of a sudden I scroll down and I see something from Janet. Hubert, the original Aunt Viv from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So I, I scroll down and I see Janet Hubert lashes out against something that Jada says. So Jada, earlier in um, the week, posted a video. I guess she was sitting in her home and she just basically posted a video about what she felt about the Oscars and the snubs and the nominations that a lot of different roles that have been um, given out to um Many white actors and white actresses had um, they had passed up a lot of different things that that did have the possibility of being nominated that were uh, there were black people involved. But, you know, it, it all really came down to she was talking about basically diversity and really taking back um not taking back everything, but taking back some of our reins, you know what I'm saying? And not letting it be controlled or um, manipulated or unappreciated. So. I got where Jada was coming from. I got what she was talking about. And it happened on Martin Luther King Day. So uh, go figure. So I'm not a big person to get into like the racial things when it comes to your roots and stuff like that. I'm very big on that. Like believe in knowing where you come from and different things like that and not just shunning it or anything like that. So I'm very big on that. But I felt like when Janet Hubert got on this film and got on her camera and spewed all of this stuff out. Basically, she got on there and she basically said, first of all, she had, she she said, Will Smith, this man doesn't, does your man have a mouth of his own? Can he speak? And then she started going into this rant and rave about um, uh, Missy, let me tell you something. Uh, you know, she went into the things about Will Smith uh, not being a great, uh, not a great actor and that um, something that happened 25 years ago. Now this is karma that's coming back around. And these are the same people that you support and that you've been in Hollywood and you're just bitter or mad because you didn't get the award this time. And um, you didn't say anything last year when such and such was going on. But I really don't think the point, not one time, did she even bring up or say, you know, my husband was snubbed or he did not get the award? And a lot of different times, 
even when stuff was coming out, there was nothing said back when Ali was getting, uh, when he didn't get the award for Ali, when he was passed up for Pursuit of Happiness, when a lot of the, the things that he should have been nominated for weren't recognized. But it just gets to a point sometimes where you got to say something. And I, I totally agree with Jada on what she did. The reason I did not, could not appreciate, even though Janet had a lot of valid points and made some very good, um, she, she made very, some, from the very good critiques, I couldn't appreciate it because of the place that it came from. And I feel like what she said came from a place of malice and just bitterness. Like, even though she said, like, I know y'all are going to go say that I'm bitter and I don't feel, you know, I'm not, I, that I'm just mad about what happened. To me, she was. I mean, to me, she was. There was a lot of stuff that was said. You could have taken it or leave or, or left it, you know? So I, I don't feel like Janet Hubert handled it the right way. I also got a chance just recently to see a response and you guys can all go check this out on the net. It's on entertainment tonight and different, they have different, uh, snips of Jada actually speaking back to what happened. Actually, the reporter really couldn't get out. She was so nervous to be talking to Jada then that Jada actually answered her. But the reporter uh, said, what do you think about what Aunt Viv said? She didn't say Janet Hubert or anything. That This kind of sad when you're just known by Aunt Viv and not your real name. At least I'm saying her real name, Janet Hubert. So basically, she, the reporter asked what you know she thought about it. She brought up the point, and this is all what exactly what Jada said, and you can go back and look at it. She said at this, uh, she brought up the first thing was like at this time there are there uh, in I believe it was Alabama there was the highest recruit of KKK members, and I, she's keeping up like it's actually serious. Like Jada's really keeping up with what's going on around us, uh, and she said that just time that we need to come together. And and really uh, put our resources together and come together as African Americans and different things like that and um, just that she wishes her all the best you know th that she has nothing but love for her it was very mature um, as far as what Jada was trying to get at um, there are some things I agree with some things I don't I don't think it's just an African American thing I think that it is a diversity thing all in general um, a, lot, a lot of people say and we're going to get into this next part because this ties right into it because it's not just about us being African Americans let me just go into the next story real quick because it all ties in it's like I feel like I'm a preacher up here like because it all tied in at the end but basically okay let's go to the next story so Stacy Dash okay <clears throat> Miss Stacy Dash got up. Okay, this is the girl from Clueless and different single ladies and all the different things and her getting booted off single ladies and then she was suspended from Fox News. She always knows what to say and at the right times to say it. So Stacy Dash gets up and makes a blanket statement on Fox News today, basically saying that uh, us being, uh, if we want to be integrated, we need to get rid of entities like the BET Awards the NAACP awards, uh, the, uh, she said, we also need to, uh, get rid of black history month. I had to pause on that one for a second and really think about that for a minute, because if my memory serves me right, um, every other thing, you know, we don't have, there's a Hispanic heritage month. There's a Asian Pacific Heritage Month. So what's wrong with having a Black History Month or a month where it's recognized? I believe Black History Month should be celebrated the whole year long. I, that, that's one of that's one of the things that I believe. But I also believe that it's not bad to highlight a special month where we honor that that heritage, not to get all in the white black thing, but Every other thing around us, we are taught American history when we're in school. We learn about it year round. We know the things that have happened in our world about the Boston Tea Party. We know about 1776, the Declaration of Independence. You know, we know all of these things. We know about America's rich heritage, but a lot of times people want to shun the different aspects like Hispanics and the 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 even the Chinese and Japanese, the people that have helped to build what America is now. So I do believe that things like that should be honored also. I don't think that there needs to be a get rid of the, let's mention that Stacey Dash was also 
on BET show. She starred, well, she guest starred on a BET show. She's been paid by BET before. So all of a sudden you just want to flip the script and say, oh yeah, I don't agree. And I think we need to get rid of BET and, and the Black History Month. And no, I totally disagree with that wholeheartedly. And no, anybody can argue me on that. They can say what they want, but Black History Month is something that needs to remain and stay intact of what it is. So Let's get back on to, so Stacey Dash, blah. So that's basically what I was trying to get to basically about why it's so important that we don't look at it as just all together as a black problem, but we also look at it as a a diversity problem. The women that get jobs, the uh, when it, whether it's old people, young people, uh, you know, it, it's really about that. It's not about just African-Americans. So I really wanted to to make that point and let that, that stand out and just, just soak it in. So that is really what my, I wanted my, my vent to be about. Um, let's get into a little bit more stuff here. Let's talk about TV real quick. So ever since, if you know me back from my old days, I used to talk about it all the time. One of my favorite shows that was on TV during the time when I was doing YouTube videos was Ugly Betty. It had everything. It was funny. It was like a soap opera. It was a hilarious show. I was so sad to see it go when it left after the fifth season. But... There's a new show that is out. It's only 30 minutes. It's not an hour like Ugly Betty, but it gives me everything that I need because it's hilarious. And I want to recommend it to those of you that are out there to watch it. It's, it's called, called Telenovela. Telenovela. And it uh, stars Eva Longoria and a brilliant, brilliant cast that just throws out all these jokes during the whole time. And it's uh, it's uh, it's so funny, you guys. If you, wanna, if you want anything like that, check it out. I tried to check out Jane the Virgin when it came on in the first season. I got into the first two or three episodes and I couldn't stay in it. But Telenovela... Nova, it's short enough. It brings you in. It does all the jokes that it needs to. It's un it's a hilarious show. If you want to go check it out, make sure you go tune into that. Um, let's also talk about something that I talked about on my very first show. If you ever go back to um, King David. 24. That's where I'm going to be posting this video um, on YouTube. I never really changed the tag name to like the Lux Dave or anything, but it's King David 24. That's around the age that I started these videos. But basically, if you go there and you see my very first video, you'll notice who I talked about on my very first video. It was Wendy Williams. Now, you can say what you want about me. You can say whatever. But Wendy Williams she's funny. She brings it. She talks about people. She says it like she means it. She's the reason that I actually started doing the YouTube videos back then because I wanted to talk about stuff like that and put it in my own perspective. If I agreed with the, if I agreed with her or agree with other people, there's other people that are still out there grinding on YouTube and doing their thing. One of the people I look up to the most is The Scorpion Show with uh, Kevin and Mikhail. The Scorpion Show. Please go and check it out. Just type it into YouTube. Go subscribe to it. Go like their videos. Get on the on board because even while I wasn't doing these videos, they were still holding it down and they're 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 good at what they do. So if you get a chance, go check out the Scorpion Show. Don't know how many people are gonna watch this video because I've been gone for so long, but I'm letting you know to go check it out. Also, one more thing I want to mention is that Wendy, the first person I talked about, she just got renewed till 2020 that would mean she'll be on air for 11 seasons so when i mention something on here just know that usually i know what's going to have longevity and what's not even though she's rude and crude and some stuff i definitely don't agree with her on we're not going to get onto all the bill cosby stuff right now maybe i'll save that for another video because i have a total different perspective of what a lot of other people think but we won't talk about that right now because i want to save that for when all of this you know I'll keep it on the hush. So that's basically what I want to talk about. Also music. If you get a chance, I always like to throw in what's good out right now. If you ever get a chance, go listen to Lecrae. Lecrae is an awesome, he's a, he doesn't consider himself a Christian rapper. He is saved. He is a Christian rapper, but he just considers himself a straight rapper. And he, he speaks so much truth. He has a new album that just came out on the 16th of January called Church Clothes Volume 3. If you get a chance, go pick it up, go cop it. I always like to get the originals. I said that on all my old videos. I like to get the CD CD with the cover, the case, the album. I'm not, I'm not old school, but I just like to have stuff like that with 
with me. I'm just weird like that. So if you get a chance, go check out Lecrae, his album called Church Calls Volume 3. If you like bumping music, if you like uh, stuff that's coming out that's truth, kind of like a Kendrick Lamar and different things like that, make sure you check his music out. He's a really, really great artist. So till next time, I will see you. This is Deluxe Dave. Hopefully I will be able to keep up with more videos. Maybe take you on a trip sometime and do a video from the different locations that I go to or something like that. That would be pretty awesome. So uh, till next time, you guys comment. If you want, like it. Invite people to come watch the new videos that I'll be putting up over time. We'll see how this goes. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.